Hello there, my name is Nomo Ndembali and I had the pleasure of becoming one of the very first facilitators of Girl Leader and I get to share my experiences with you. So I chose to become a facilitator because I feel it, it is very important for a person to give themselves or offer their time to the community without expecting anything in return. But I specifically chose Girl Leader because of my experiences with great leaders who became my friends and the type of confidence they instilled in me. Because I do feel like a great leadership or a great leadership uh, relationship um, has a tremendous impact on a young lady's confidence. And with great confidence comes a sort of mental emancipation that is needed by every young lady in the world to take over their own lives to and then to eventually take over the community and take over the world at large. Um, my main goal with the girl leaders was I just wanted to to lay the foundation or equip them with the tools to 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 a journey of mental emancipation or to help them dismantle the mental shackles that uh, because of their circumstances, because of their backgrounds, because of their weaknesses, uh, that they cannot become great leaders with impact one day. Um, so I wanted to create a, a, an environment where the girl leaders are able to be vulnerable, an environment where I'm also able to be vulnerable. So uh, a space where they're able to share their stories of uh, of great leadership of failures of disappointments while i also share mine and also share stories of authentic leadership from women around the country around the world who look just like us who became great leaders despite their backgrounds despite obstacles disappointments and um and also just to to you know in that vein to help them realize their strengths, their talents, their potential, and their weaknesses. And like I said, for them to understand that those uh, challenges do not stop them from becoming great leaders one day. And I feel like it is very important for women to be trained to lead because I strongly believe in um, going against the status quo. Because if we look at the statistics, which I do not have in front of me right now, unfortunately, <laughs> but generally, if we look at the statistics of um, women leadership, they do not really match the population of women in the country and in the world and in communities. So I felt like uh, it, it, it is very important that we, 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 we dismantle um, the status quo, we disrupt the, the, the status quo. And because of just the few stories that I've, I've heard of women who had such, uh, uh, their leadership was so impactful in their communities and in the world. And I thought to myself that if it was just that one woman, those two women, um, imagine if women were actually given the chance to, to become leaders, how many more story, stories of impactful leadership and authentic leadership would we be able to see? So um, it is very important to, to, to train uh, girls to one day not only have the opportunity to be leaders, but to actually become great leaders who are very impactful. So if we can have one story, why not create an opportunity where we can have hundred stories of impactful leaders and impactful women. Uh, my favorite part of the program was actually taking this one goal or objective of mine of creating an environment uh, that is uh, conducive to vulnerability and where the communications are peer to peer. So um, the girl leaders were very comfortable to share their, their stories, to share their, 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 their weaknesses and moments where they felt um, uh, disappointment. And I also got to share my stories and what I saw uh, to be very um, encouraging for me was when at some point they were not only listening to each other's stories, they were giving each other advice. So sometimes I also wouldn't know maybe an, an answer to, to, I wouldn't have an answer to a question one of the girl leaders asked. Then another fellow girl leader would help uh, answer the question. So I felt like they felt comfortable enough with me to understand that we are peers 
Uh, and it, for me, it also symbolized the growth from day one up until the, the, the last day. And, you know, the, 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 the growth in confidence and the growth in identifying uh, aspects of, like I said, their strengths, their, 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 their ways of, of, of increasing their impact. Um, so that was very, very enlightening for me to see uh, how just creating a space where people can be vulnerable, how much they grow in those spaces. And lastly, the music. I enjoy the playlist so much. They made my Saturdays. Thank you so much to the program directors. Um, I really didn't feel like I was doing anything that was, um, you know, outside of something that I would normally do on a Saturday. I enjoyed my time so much. Thank you so much, Nondumiso, for this great opportunity. Thank you to the program directors. Every single Saturday in these sessions was worth it. Um, I just hope you continue the great work, and I hope maybe we get another chance um, to, to, to create some kind of impact in the program in different ways. Thank you.